I can't lie. <laughs> that sound now we'll get on to the negatives i've been looking forward to this so much yet it wasn't nice at all mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that's what i needed help me help me welcome back to my channel okay we're gonna go over that exciting things what happened introduction really okay oven i understand we are going to be unboxing and checking out the nintendo switch oled today and also the special edition of the new metroid dread game and i am very excited because already with the um, oled we know that there is some major changes and some minor changes and some good and not so good things with this console i'm going to be checking it out going off coming back and trying to give you guys a full review of this console in about 24 hours so <coughs> so get some snacks some honey to clear your throat and we're gonna just get right into it ouch i'm gonna um probably stand over here for this video if that's okay with you timothy okay so we have camera one camera two ready so it's just gonna get straight into the oled unboxing first or shall we do metro dread yeah it probably makes sense to do metro dread comes in this lovely lovely big it's a big it's a big case it's al almost bigger than my torso um i think it is bigger than my torso so this is simply it a nice little cardboard case i'm just gonna go through this super quickly because we're going to be testing the game out on the nintendo switch oled and i'm really excited so we have the case here, a normal Nintendo Switch case, but what's so amazing about this is that it also comes with the Steelbook edition with no game in it. And there is a Metroid Dread book as well. Do you wanna, do you wanna be a bit closer? Cause I feel like this isn't very intimate and I feel like, I feel too far away from you. <coughs> Okay, so I think that is the loads better. So the good thing about being in the kitchen is that we have utensils to open things with. I've got some scissors. Okay, so let's have a look. I don't wanna spoil what's in here too much because I hate when people do that. But I will give you like a cheeky sneaky peek. So here it is. And I think it's, oh, the ASMR is real. It's art book mainly. And oh my gosh. Oh, okay, it's a full, it's a full art book, which is really, really, really nice, actually. I don't want to spoil it, but it smells good and also tastes pretty good as well. The last thing that I'm going to get with this is the uh, little Metroid pocket wallet, and it comes with all these uh, different pieces of artwork again i don't want to spoil it too much but i am going to spoil it because i kind of want you to see what you're getting <laughs> sorry about it okay <clears throat> i haven't got covid it's just a natural simple cold and yeah no dying here today right so we have the nintendo switch oled and i i i'm so happy i'm so happy and grateful that nintendo sent me this people casually like oh yeah nintendo just something switch i'm literally like <laughs> fluffing get the mouth at the thought of anybody sending me a nintendo switch especially nintendo themselves nintendo what are you doing so this is the front <laughs> this is the back and already the, the box depicts the absolute brightness and greatness of apparently what the OLED screen looks like. Now, I'm not going to be biased. If I think the screen sucks, I'm going to say, but I very much doubt it. So, just make sure the sound's still working, baby. Stay there. Okay, so I just had another package at the door, but let's ignore that. So, yeah, I mean, you open it up and it's, it's quite a, a significantly more squashed box, and I like that. 
Um, oh, I can already tell the screen is a lot bigger. So we have the Joy-Cons and of course they're in white. Actually, are they white or are they gray? I'm not quite, I can't quite see. They look a bit gray to me. I'm not, I'm not colorblind, but they do look slightly gray. Um, whatever. And then we've got, okay. This feels significantly heavier, significantly heavier than oh damn this screen oh, damn you're so pretty you're so pretty damn she's fine okay so <laughs> it looks good you know already transferring all my fingerprints along okay so the wires <coughs> the cables <coughs> the you also get that was smooth the Joy-Con grip in all its glory. Um, the Joy-Con straps, which I'm not going to put on because when I first unboxed my Nintendo Switch, I put them on and got them the wrong way round and ended up destroying my Joy-Cons day one. And I saved up like seven months of wages to be able to afford the Switch. So when I broke it on day one, it was quite a upsetting experience, as you can imagine. It wasn't nice at all. So but I've been looking forward to this so much and it's the dark. Can we just, just get it open? And Okay, so, oh my gosh, this is, so pretty like it's i can see like changes already with this um the switch dark so the switch is all black on the outside and just like normal <sighs> that sound that sound mm, but yeah it's such a good sound let me go and get my other Nintendo Switch. I think that would be a lot more beneficial to both of us so we can see a side-by-side uh, -side comparison, right? I have got my Nintendo Switch here. This is the Nintendo Switch, uh, the base model, and this is the OLED. And I think it is very obvious, like from here, that the screen is bigger. This is a seven inch screen now, and this is a 6.2 inch screen. And you wouldn't think that it's like a massive, huge comparison, right? Like it's not a big deal, it's not a massive difference, but it actually is already. This looks stunning to play. Um, and this one isn't looking so, so tasty, in my opinion. I mean, yep. I can't lie. I can't lie to you guys. The Nintendo Switch base model. This looks loads better compared, like the screen wise. I, if it wasn't gifted, I would have bought, regardless if I had the Switch or not, I would have sold this and bought this. <laughs> I'm just that guy, what can I say? Great thing about this as well is that it's pretty much the same size due to the Switch's OLED smaller bezels so like at a glance you would think yo dude your switches are the same so there's nothing different but then when you have a real lock damn homie you're looking real good tonight <laughs> that's the vibes now we'll get on to the negative near the end now i'm gonna go and take this for a few hours and i'll be right back because i want to give you like a proper tasty review right okay be right back Stay there, stay there. Don't take any of my goods. I will ring the police. So, whilst I was gone, I came across my first hurdle of the Nintendo Switch OLED. And it is a, something that's really stressed me out for the past 15 minutes. And I had to use a tool to actually open it up. Is that I had a bit of an issue getting in to the um is it focusing no, yeah so the game card section for me was actually really really hard to open up um there is a significant difference with the volume and on and off button as you can see here the volume button the volume button on the normal nintendo switch is like circle and thicker 
And then the game cartridge has got this little nibble that you can just open up. Whereas with the Switch OLED, there is no like, there was, I actually, I'm actually struggling to open it completely. Anyway, I have indeed been able to sort that out. So back to testing. Okay, okay, so before I go and check out the Nintendo Switch and test it, I want you guys to have a look at the dock. So now the PS Dollars is this one. We have got the uh, dock. It's got a Nintendo there on the back. I'm not sure if you can see. And it's got a little hole cut out of here. I'm pretty sure that's so you can take off the back plate. As you could see, it's so much easier to take it off. It's, it's not connected on, which I think is loads better. The difference is, is that we all now have a LAN adapter in here. And also the slot is a lot thicker. I think this is to prevent us from scratching our Nintendo Switch. The material is also different. You can see it's a nice shiny material. And overall, aesthetically, it just looks better. Another thing about this is that you can indeed, stay there, put in your Nintendo Switch, your old one, and charge it just like that. It's dock dockable. And another great thing is that because it is a lot thicker, the, the, the hole is thicker, that's the slit is thicker, you can actually put a case on the Nintendo Switch and still dock your Switch. So that's really great. So they're the major differences. I think this is the dock that we preferably should have had. Like this is the dock that Nintendo should have given us. It's a lot more sturdy as well. When you put your Switch in, there's like minimal wobble and it just, it's so much better quality. Wow, okay, so I've been a few hours on the Nintendo Switch and I just wanna say how beautiful the OLED screen is. Like, I am tearing up because when I first turned on the screen, I was just like, oh my God, the colors are so vibrant. Everything's just there. I, I know that I'm gonna fixate on this Switch and never get off games. And it's just such a nice, immersive gaming experience with this OLED screen. Another amazing thing about the screen is that you can not only just sit inside and play it, it makes the whole handheld gaming experience just amazing because you can go outside and play it. You can sit, sit in the back of the car, go out, go to the hotel room, you could go to the hotel room lobby if that's what you're doing, like if you're traveling, and play. And it doesn't matter how dark or how light it is, you can see everything. And it's not the same as an iPhone, I would say it's, uh, a little a little dimmer than an iphone but <coughs> the the oled experience is incredible absolutely incredible and there is a few cons of it and we'll go over those in a bit but we're focusing on the positives first the oled outside you can game outside and for me i like to sit outside and read books and be near water because i'm a parachute and I've always wanted to take my Switch and play outside and I always like get a little blanket and put it over my head. Now I've got this, I am completely lost in the source. Anyway, should we go back to the, uh, back to the, where the magic happens? So I am emotional and very excited, <laughs> but uh, aside from that matter, let's talk about the other amazing factors except the OLED screen. Of course, as I explained, we've got a bit of a shadow here. The OLED is incredible. However, the materials of the Nintendo Switch are also very different. This is more rubbery and plasticky, and um, to be quite honest, it feels cheaper. This is a completely sleeker model, and I'm pretty sure the bottom of it is like metal. Um, and all the embezzlements and everything just feel a lot better quality. You are getting better quality. My speaker, um, something broke off like here on this as well. And also my kickstand broke off, which is a shame, but I didn't use it anyway because it was so not good. And now we have this um, large, ooh. <laughs> It feels good. Now you have this large kickstand which goes all the way around and it just sits. Now have it all the way back and it's only just like a little bit of a, you know, gaming annoyance. You can have it like this, but for me, 
I, I actually use it more in handheld, but for people who want to sit it down. So the Joy-Cons, as I was saying, um, they're a lot better quality. The buttons are actually bigger, so you're easy, you can easily take them off and put them back on. Also, they seem a lot more firm compared to the other Joy-Cons, which is obviously what we need with the new Switch. Also, the internals of the Switch um, are pretty much the same. However, we do have a 60 gigabyte, which <laughs> with games of today, we know for a fact that a 60 gigabyte is gonna hold like either like 10 small games or like three to two big games, which I'm not complaining. It's still an upgrade and I'm still really happy that they did that. Now the display, um, unfortunately, is still 720, which for me, I don't really feel like we needed the upgrade, but they went out to make, they went out of the way to make sure we upgraded the Switch. It seems like a bit of a waste to not do it 10, 10 um, 80p, which would have been amazing. However, because the screen is so small and with the OLED display, I don't think it's a need. Like this, it's still absolutely stunning. We don't need like the best graphics to have really good games. And I think Nintendo always well, proves that fact. Um, so yeah, it's it's still 10, it's still 7, 720, but it's still a lot. It's that there's a little vibrancy change. You can go into your settings and change the vibrancy to make things like pop, 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 more. As if they don't pop enough, um, that you have got that setting to make things a, a lot more vibrant. The darks are really dark and the light and, and the brights just pop and it's stunning. So you can change the settings with the vibrancy, which is chef's kiss. One thing that I've not heard many people talk about is the fact that I hurt my mouth. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch battery life is indeed a little better. With the Nintendo Switch um, OLED, I played Breath of the Wild on this console and this console because and this console lasted longer. And where I know that this is the older console and I've had it for longer, so the battery life is going to be a bit kaput. There is actually evidence that this is a tiny bit, a smidgen, a smidgen um, better on battery life now positives now and what's new i want to go on to the negatives and the first negative is the fact that they have changed the speaker whether they did a good job with that is definitely something that i would argue i didn't actually know that they changed the speaker until someone told me and i read up about it and it's true the speaker has had the smallest upgrade however i can't really tell and i had to like play music back and forth, back and forth to, to understand that there is like a crispier, a, I, would, I would say is that the right word, Timothy, help, help, crispier, yeah. It's definitely more like, I don't know how to say, I would say it's like the tiniest bit louder. So there is an upgrade, but not like a significant upgrade to be like, wow, there's a massive, massive, massive upgrade. And I guess that brings me on to the next negative. Okay, so this is probably going to be a controversial one, but the internals of the Nintendo Switch, they haven't been tweaked at all. And this was like a prime opportunity to do some big upgrades, such as making it faster, because we know those Animal Crossing loading screens are draining our life, draining the batteries out of our life, draining our soul. <laughs> So it could have been an opportunity to make this faster, harder, better, faster, stronger, and all of that, but they didn't do it. And I do think there is definitely like reasons why, such as they're probably going to bring a new switch out next year, but if you already have this and the internals are faster, that's bad for business. And I, and I, and I realized that because they could have done some internal upgrades to make it, you know, so people wanted to buy this and get rid of this i strongly believe that this is for users that haven't had the nintendo switch 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 or absolutely crazy about the switch and buy every single console that comes out after seeing how vibrant it is i needed i needed i needed i needed some milk maybe even some some whipped cream you know maybe maybe even cream mm-hmm mm. mm -hmm. yeah mm-hmm that's what I needed. So another thing that's really annoying is that even if you have an OLED, oh my God, 
Another negative is, is that it's not that sturdy. Not really, I didn't put it in. <gasps> God damn. It's okay, baby. Baby, are you okay? Yes, okay. So another negative is, is that, another negative is that, is that the OLED doesn't work when docked, even, even, even when docked to an OLED TV. Now oh, that confuses me because it, it would be good if it worked. It's an OLED switch, so when docked to an OLED TV, you'd think it was work, but it doesn't. But because it's a hybrid console, it would have been oh, dreamy if we could dock it to an OLED TV. Not like I have an OLED TV, because I'm not that fancy, but for those of you who do, sorry about it. The final countdown, do 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 do. Is that this, the, the, the transferring issues are still prevalent today in 2021? Why do they make it so hard and so difficult to transfer your old Nintendo Switch files and save to your new? When I um, transferred my save data, I lost half of it. And that's always been an issue when I get a new Switch. Half the. Shh. Half the data trans Shh. half the data transfers and the other half just goes off into bloody Neverland. Peter Pan has got it. He's uh he's using it to, to stay younger or something, I don't know. <laughs> the save data just goes like my Animal Crossing Island <laughs> is no more. And it's because for some reason, it like holds on to half your saves and also just makes it a really weird experience. Like I've never had such a strange data transferring experience. If you feel me, then we're on the same page. If you don't, then well, lucky you, lucky you. So, so, so yeah, that is my pretty small Nintendo Switch review. I hope it's helped you make a decision. As I said, if it was me personally, I would definitely upgrade because the screen made me cry when I turned it on. And for me, that's, <laughs> That's a definite, definite win in my in my box. If you're not that bothered about the screen and you're, you're happy playing with the Nintendo Switch as it is, then I would definitely not recommend that you upgrade. I would recommend you wait until the next bit upgrade that has all the internal upgrades too that are going to be really important and make the Switch like a revolutionary next level console. As I personally think it always is. So if you do get your hands on this, make sure you get a screen protector. The screen transfers very easily and also, and another thing is that, you know on the Nintendo Switch, when you... So yeah, as I was trying to explain before, and also I'm sorry for the weird shadows that are probably on my face right now. I won't have to crap the whole video. Um, if you've got a Nintendo Switch, and you upgrade to the new one, and you are a screen toucher like me, be careful because with the Nintendo Switch, this one, you've got the, you know, outer, outer shell, which protects you from like going back or touching things or rubbing in your game. You've got, you've got the outer shell here that when you touch it, it doesn't like move anything on the screen. However, with this, the whole screen is taken over by the touch screen. So if you're touching the screen, like all picking it up, you may go back, not save something, delete something. Do something that you just don't want to do in this world. So just be very, very careful of that. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoy my mediocre small review with very bad lighting and probably awful sound um but yeah I, I hope it did help some of you decide whether you're going to buy or not buy the nintendo switch i'm probably going to try and do more reviews so i get better but i hope you enjoyed this one and we can't leave without the da -da 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 cyber hugs mm. lovely and i'll see you guys i'm not sure when this is going to be out but probably in a few days goodbye